Written by James Goss and released in August 2017, Aliens and Sex and Chips and Gravy is the second episode of the first box sets of Torchwood Aliens Among Us, also known as Torchwood Series 5. What's this story about? Well, Torchwood goes on a hen night. Why, James, why? This story, people, where do I begin? To sum it up nicely, if I could avoid reviewing this story, I would. But unfortunately, so much exposition regarding the alien threat that's invaded Card Rip gets dropped into this episode, which means avoiding it would be missing out on vital information. Good thing these stories come in box sets, eh? So, while episode 1 featured Tyler's steel heavily, Aliens and Sex and Chips and Gravy instead chooses to explore the other new member of Torchwood, the cynical Mr. Colchester. Really, Paul Clayton's performance as Colchester is the only thing about Aliens and Sex and Chips and Gravy that I actually enjoyed. Mr. Colchester really is one of the best characters Torchwood has produced. His wit, his cynicism, and his snark have all been highlights, and this carries over the other stories in the box set as well. Colchester and Gwen embark on a wild ride with the most annoying, most bitchy guest character in Torchwood's history. To put this into perspective, Madrigal is like Angie Maitland. There! That's the comparison. That should be all you need to know. Even the folks who love Nightmare and Siler agree the story is spoiled by those bratty children. However, unlike the Mylands, who are only in Nightmare and Silver for about a quarter of it, Sophie Colkian's character is present for the entire freaking episode. The plot tries to give her some development and explore her background a bit, but I just couldn't give a sh**. If I had to describe this plot in one sentence, it would be, the whiniest girl in the world spends the entire night throwing the biggest temper tantrum. The character alone spoils most of what happens, but then again, that's not saying much. The plot, the little there is of it, plays out like a cheap riff off of Bad Mom. Not that I know why you want to emulate anything in that movie, but here we go. Gwen, for the most part, is quite insufferable here. Colchester comes across as unnecessarily insensitive and maybe even racist, but his solutions with the benefit of hindsight paint him in the right in a logical sense, and Gwen in the wrong, but the script will go out of its way to flip the two. Thankfully, it's not a complete loss. The last five minutes of a story drop a huge bomb about Gwen Cooper, and this revolution alone almost makes the 60 minutes preceding it worth it. It'll be interesting to see where the series takes Gwen after this plot twist, but let's hope this is the last whatever this was that Big Finish tries, because it wasn't funny, it wasn't entertaining, and it sure as hell wasn't needed. What do you think of Aliens and Six and Chips and Gravy? Do you share my views? Let me know in the comments section, or tweet at me at WhoGirl. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more reviews, and visit my Patreon page if you feel like showing your support that way.